Hey guys, welcome back. It's Amanda with ALN Beauty Bar and today we are going to go through my powders and setting sprays for a declutter. So stay tuned. Let's talk about those powders I have an abundance of. So first up, I know I'm not going to get rid of it, is the Laura Mercier um, translucent loose setting powder this is a staple we'll never be without this keeping on that same trend I do have a mini of the translucent of the um, the ooh, the glowy version I like this it's good for summer um, so I'll keep it for that also staying with Laura Mercier, the Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder. This stuff is holy grail. Um, it's expensive though for as little as you get. I mean, compared to the, the face powder size, like this is a full size compared to that, but you know we're keeping that. And then I have the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I use this as a finishing powder. Keeping that. I love Laura Mercier for face products, so those are no-brainers for me. I do kind of reserve the Laura Mercier though for special occasions, so I do have this number seven um, Lift and Luminate finishing powder which I use in place of that so love this keep it that that's in my staple every day let's see here this is the Becca under eye brightening setting powder this is newer to my collection I do like it um, it's nice, it sits well under the eye, so still kind of testing that out, getting some final thoughts on that. Uh, next we have the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Power that Powder. This is a deluxe size of it. Um, again, the shade is translucent. I've used a decent amount of it. It's not my favorite, but I wanted to try it so it came in a deluxe ceremony so that's how I picked it up. Then we have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Well, I'm gonna pass this on. I got this in a, this is a Bare Metal Minerals Mineral Veil in original. Fin their finishing powder. I got this in a sample set of minis from an Ulta purchase, so I'm excited to try this. I haven't tried it yet because I haven't needed to open it. So keeping with ooh, keeping with unopened powders in my back stock, I got this because this is supposed to dupe the Laura Mercier powder, but this is the Perfect Light Loose Powder from number seven. So, I'm going to try that soon. Let's see here. Two powders left, and then I have my sprays. So, this is the e.l.f. HD powder. I don't like this on my face, but I love this under my eyes. Um, so, again, trying to preserve the, the Laura Mercier powder because it's expensive. This is a great option. And then, I got this when I did a full face of e.l.f. Um, this is the Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. I don't love it, so I'm going to pass it on as well. Oh, this, this setting spray is never ending and I wish it would because I'm not a fan of it. I mean it's okay but I'm not a fan of it. So this is the CoverGirl Outlast Active. I'm like 
there's literally days left in here. So just waiting to finish that. Whoop. And then the other open one I have is from Maybelline, their glass finishing spray. I like the mist on this, not overly convinced. I love the actual formula of it, but we'll put that on the chopping block. From Wet n Wild, these are brand new, never opened. I have the Natural Finish Photo Focus and the Rose Photo Focus setting sprays. Um, I've heard great things about these, so still want to try them. Not sure if I'll use them as... Well, this one you can use as a three-in-one primer water, and this one is an actual setting spray, but... Hopefully we can use these up. They're small, so shouldn't take long. Also have a travel size L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. Haven't tried this guy um, because I've been traveling with this, but we'll try him, try him out, see what we think. And then I have my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it's, what, five, three or five dollars? It's great. It has a great little mister on it, so we'll keep that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You have seen what's made the nice and naughty list for my powder and setting spray declutter. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and comment on the video below. And have a great day.